Pickering laid it off. Here's a chance now for O'Kearney, who delivers up forward for the NAB AFL Academy, and they're full of running. Chance now for McDonald, who delivers inside 50. Good kick and good mark there to achieve. Lovely kick by McDonald Shifter. I mean, just uh, really lace out. So right half forward, Alex to sit it up to the oh, draft picks for next year. Sullivan palmed it down, then just tumbled it forward. No effective disposal there. Well done by Cockatoo, who dumped his head. Advantage paid, said the umpire, and the allies just a chance to stem the tide momentarily. And they use it well. Jackson off five foot to Abe Davis, who's an exciting prime. Uh, Kearney trying to kick across half forward. Cockatoo marked. He's got to look out. And just to shrunk the tackle. Just tumbled it forward. Wobbly ball. Southern stand side. A chance for the NAB AFL Academy. They've got the numbers. And they use it well. Here's Mills. Just retreats. And they... Footy in the last couple of years have been impressive. If you're looking for one little piece of what he can do, it's his step through the traffic. He's got wonderful acceleration and agility. Uh, and uh, has found the ball in the in the opening couple of minutes. So ball just chipped towards O'Kearney. He marks between wing and left half back for the AFL Academy. Just steers it short. Aaron Francis, and of course the record games record holder uh, at the Western Bulldogs. He coaches now the what's called now the NAB AFL Academy uh, under the the new brand. And today they're playing as the Australian under 17s. Here's a chance for a Chi who went round the corner and the ball offhand through for one behind. But back to Jason Saddington. Credit to him and also Mark Browning for the one side 50. Although here's an opportunity. Slipped through the fingers of Aidan Johnson. And coming clear there was Dawson. Although he's kicked partially smothered. Pouncing there for the AFL Academy. First blood was Balik. And he kicked the goal from 30. Yeah, great play by Archie. Again, uh, Shifter, just that ability to be able to step in and almost pinch him. Yeah, just to clarify, he's not actually 19 yet. When I say a 19-year-old, he turns 19 in the calendar year. And he's uh, not 19 until December, so a late birth. Yeah. And that's why he certainly deserved to be played. Given the injuries and the late birth, that's why he played in the, the National 18s. Here's Keys inside 50. It went over the back and a chance for Agus. That was eight, they're eight to 13. So uh, they've been very, very efficient when they've got the ball in there. Jones, the quick kick, smothered by Skinner. He kicks out towards this broadcast side. Ballack, who kicked a goal early in this term. Shown really good evasive skills and agility, <laughs> though. His decision on that occasion was poor, holding the ball. In fact, a holding free kick, I think, is going his way. Yeah, very lucky. Yeah, well, look, he, he took them on, but when he bounced the footy, yeah, I mean, he lost, yeah, and yeah. he lost control of the bounce as well. Yeah. So. Uh, he just tried to squeeze him through a, a hole that really wasn't open. Here's Parsons. Delivers down the line. Oh, Ooh, solid contact. Going back courageously was Johnson. And in the end, he bounces up. And the man... They move inside forward 50. No mark taken on that occasion. In the end, Francis read it really well. Spread play towards Wiedering. He gathered. Chip short now. Eads, left half forward. Easy as you like, through to the big mitts of Shackey. And the big man in a decent position to kick here. 30 seconds and counting here for the Academy boys. Ben Keyes tucks it under his arm, then runs through the centre, delivers well towards half forward. And Balik at the paint of 50, took a decent mark. He's got Kerno leading further afield. He sits it up, likes to go to a smaller option. It was Archie he wanted. Using the body well was Dawson, and that'll be just about all she wrote as we tick down 10 seconds and counting towards half time. He played for Queensland, Kevin, in the NAB under 18 championships. Dashing half back type. Ooh. As the Allies, a little bit casual chance now. AFL Academy, Balik's been bright since entering the fray, and his snap is good. That's one way to make them pay. He has two. Classy stuff from Balik, wasn't it? Uh, we've noted that playing for the Sandringham Dragons this year. Uh, he's a cuts inside. We've got men on the open side, one of whom is Crocker. Waltzes forward, delivers inside 50. Kick not his best in the Clark direction. Though he might get another opportunity. Eventually squeezed out the back. Eads with the left foot snap. Misses to the near side. I just like Wietering's last. Well, will lay the tackles. He's a star at that stuff. and. Uh, He's been a solid player again today. He's had the 10 disposals today. Ally 
tries were away, although Austin took a while to gather the footy, sent it down towards Davis, could have just about been held. Once again, though, Plout, he'd been all over Wiedering, really good body on body stuff. Good closing. Academy boys, five goals in arrears if they are to hit the front, so an uphill battle, but we know they've got the fitness base, they're lean bodies, and they'll be full of running in the final term as Mattingly going to ground was taken high. Better backwards, a little bit untidy. Heaney at right half back, shares with Mattingly. All about that, that's what you want to see him taking on the game. He's been an outstanding player in this game, one of the best. And this has been perfect for him this game, hasn't it? Lack of footy throughout the year, so a chance to impress. But quite extraordinary, boys, what we've actually seen from him here today in terms of touch, his running ability, given he hasn't played all season. I spoke to him before the game and he was wrapped just to be out there playing. So to be out there and playing really well must be really... Um, there's some motivation levels there that need to be pricked up. But as you say, Josh Dunkley's been terrific. We see Cal Mills who's shown that he could be probably in this draft as well. So plenty of talent who's shown themselves today. He just kicked inside 50, did Mills. Out the back, Balik off to Parsons who snapped quickly and missed. It's been the story of their day so far. Just haven't managed to convert. And then been able to get up that sort of speed from a stationary position that was enormous and you're right the hardest thing then is to finish yeah. after such a run and he's done it on a few occasions as well today imagine he strings some consistent football together well, he actually spent a week at north melbourne earlier in the year as part of the now bfl academy program and they loved him yeah. they loved his influence around the group they loved the way he trained they loved the way he just was around the club so obviously creates a really good impression breakout speed for north melbourne i'm not surprised he'll be on an <laughs> afl list next year Yes, so we'll hear his name read out. As the AFL Academy are left to just fight this. Uh, on top of that, you know, running and carrying. So they've been able to play the inside and the outside game, the Allies boys. Andrews did well. His cocker too. Got his hands free. Balik managed to shark. His handball was a hospital one to O'Kearney. And the ball locked in. I think it's obvious as well that the uh, Academy's missing a couple of their top liners to major influence five possessions for the uh, for the game three kicks so davis hacks it forward by a fist parsons going to ground could have been clipped tight in the end clark gathers kicks forward balik has been lively particularly in the second half will draw his opponent feed the handle over the top to matheson who looks up ahead well weighted ball sushams couldn't mark umpire called play